hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm jennifer emeka in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cook and fry a chicken subscribe to my channel like comment and share let's get started These are the items you will need to cook your chicken. Thyme, onions, curry. I made use of two curry. I made use of Gino curry and curry that has rosemary and thyme also inside. So I'm going to be making use of those two. Ginger, salt, seasoning cubes and your chicken. I have a video on how I defeather a chicken and cut a chicken. I will leave the links down the description box. After washing your chicken, you put them inside the pot. Then you add a little bit of salt. Please don't add too much because you are also using seasoning cubes. Don't add too much. Just add little. After adding a little bit of salt, you add your onions and grated ginger. The ginger will add more spice to the chicken, so it's very good. Make sure that you add onions and ginger, please. After that, you add your curries. I'm making use of two different types, just like I said earlier. But if you don't have them, you can use any one that you have. Any one of your choice is still okay. After adding your curries, you will add thyme as well. Thyme is also very important. After adding the thyme, you will add seasoning cubes. I'm using stab, but you can use any mangi of your choice, any seasoning cube of your choice. It will still be okay. After you are done adding all your ingredients to the chicken, you pour a little bit of water inside the pot. Please don't pour too much so that the chicken will not be tasteless. Just pour a little bit so that it will have a lot of taste. But when you pour plenty, you see that your chicken might end up not having the normal taste that it's supposed to have because the water is too much. As you can clearly see, the chicken is on the fire, on the gas right now cooking. Please, when cooking your chicken, <laughs> don't put it on the fire and go and relax. Be there. Check it time to time so that you will turn those parts that are not fully done. You will turn, turn them so that they will also have a bit of those seasoning inside them before they are properly cooked. When turning it, turn it carefully. Don't use force. Just turn it the essence is that you want to turn those parts that have not cooked to be cooked after that you cover it few minutes later our chicken is ready wow you can see how it's looking i'll just go ahead to off the gas then put oil on the fire i'll be using king's oil please after putting the oil, you allow it to get hot, very hot before putting the chicken. Because when you put it when the oil is not that hot, the chicken will end up soaking the oil. So you will make sure that the oil is hot before you start pouring your chicken inside the oil. When pouring your chicken inside the oil, please follow the size of the frying pan. Don't put too much. So that you can be able to turn it when it's getting a little bit brown don't put too much just put the size of the frying pan and you will also follow the amount of oil that you poured inside the frying pan that will determine the size of the amount of chicken you pour inside the oil to be fried 
you keep on checking it time to time so that it will not get burnt the essence is that you want it well fried but you don't want it to get burnt so you keep on checking it you'll be turning it any part that you see that is brown you will turn it this is the first set of chicken that i poured inside the oil Just keep checking the chicken so that it will not get burnt. So you'll be checking it anyone that you see that is well fried and is okay by you is up to your satisfaction you remove it and leave the guys to properly fry before taking them out of the oil As you can clearly see, this first set of chicken that I poured inside the oil are well fried. They are properly fried to my satisfaction. I'm just taking them out of the oil. So after taking them out of the oil, I will go ahead to pour the second set of the chicken before pouring the third set. I divided them into sets because I don't want to fill the frying pan with too much chicken. Because when I do that, some might not properly fry. So that's what I'm saying, you have to divide your chicken, don't pour too much at once, follow them gradually till you are able to fry all. Anyone you notice that is not well fried, still leave it inside the oil so that it will fry a little bit before taking it out of the oil. After removing your chicken from the oil, please ensure that you pour them inside a basket so that the oil that is remaining in the chicken can drop out. This is the second set, while this is the third set, it's the same process, that's how you keep frying the chicken, please just keep on frying it, be checking it, the same process, it's not hard, it's not difficult and it's very easy, before you know, you are done.
Wow! Can you see this? See how well fried and yummy this chicken is looking. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share. I will see you in my next video. Bye!